Kia ora. In this video, we're going to have a look at drawing a residuals plot. A residuals plot looks at the difference between the line of best fit and where the data actually is. This allows us to see if there are any patterns in the residuals to see if the model fits better or worse at particular areas. So to start off with, we're going to have a look at a scatter graph. We're going to look at a scatter graph of the stride length of someone to do a marathon and how long it takes them to do a marathon. So looking at this graph, we can see that as stride length increases, the time taken to do the marathon tends to decrease. So let's start by putting in a nice regression line. We can see that that's following a reasonably linear pattern. Um, there's a bit of scatter around the line, but it's a reasonably strong trend. So if I now come and change my graph type to a residuals plot, what we can do is it basically takes that red line we were looking at before and flattens it out. And that is the line at the zeros. So what this allows us to do is come and have a look at these points and see if there is anything interesting going on. So if I come and have a look at this point here, which is a little bit higher than the trend line, looking at the raw data on the left hand side, I can see that that person's got a stride length of 195 centimetres and they took 198.9 minutes to complete the marathon. Based on that data, we would have expected a slightly shorter time to complete the marathon, and this person took 33.1 minutes longer than we expected. Whereas if I come down and have a look at this person here, who um, only took 155 minutes to complete the marathon, they had a stride length of 165 centimetres, and they completed it in 66 0.85 minutes less than we were expecting them to do based on our linear model. Quick explanation of what these axes are. The axis down the bottom here is the fitted value. So this is what we were expecting it to be and the residual is the amount above or below. If you want a little bit more explanation as to why we use the fitted and the residuals, um, have a look on the NZ Graphic Info website. There's a bit of an explanation as to why we use those different ones rather than the raw data and the difference. Just like with all of the graphs on NZ Grapha, you can right click on this and copy the image and save it and give it a better title and all of those sorts of things and include it in any reports that you are producing. With this, you can also change it from linear to quadratic or cubic or other models, um, but most of the time with NCA, we're just looking at linear patterns. And that's NZ Grapha for residuals graphs. Thank you.